I saw this dress online that was kind of like a romper but with a squirt on the bottom. I think they're called scooter dresses or scooter skirts. I don't know if that's the correct term. That's what I was seeing them called. Um, so basically, I thought maybe I could make that with patterns I already own. So I figured I can kind of Frankenstein something together using this pattern as the bodice and just a pair of shorts underneath and then some panels for the skirt. So my plan is to use a printed fabric for the collar and the shorts and then um, just a plain orange bra cloth for the body of the dress. Um, I do have to do some alterations to make this look the way I want. Um, I need to make some armhole facings, which are really easy to make. And then the bottom part is just squares, basically. This is just kind of a rough doodle I put together. <laughs> Hopefully what it'll turn out like when it's done. Um, I might make a belt. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. But I do want to put like a faux button placket down the front, just because I think that would be cute. And yeah leave the collar the way it is and the majority of the dress and then just make some shorts that go underneath it and hopefully it'll turn out okay. I don't think it'll be too difficult and it should turn out okay. <laughs> I've made this pattern before um, for a top but I haven't done the shorts one yet but it's proportioned and I'm tall lady, tall lady proportioned shorts but um, yeah, so hopefully it turns out the way I want it to, and I guess we'll see, so see you at the end. So starting off, these are all of the squares that I made for the skirt part. Um, I just took the bottom hem measurement around the bottom of what used to be the top, and I divided that by four, then added some seam allowance. This is just me drafting the bodice armhole opening facing. Um, this is pretty simple to do. Water good! <laughs> um, this is me stitching a tube of fabric that I'm going to use for the faux button placket at the front. I just used a piece of orange cotton fabric. Stitched it turned it inside out, ironed it flat. Um, here are all of my pattern pieces. Um, darts already sewn into the bodice top and um, front and back and stay stitched together. There's the collar put together. Oh, sorry about the focus. <laughs> here is the button placket all pinned down to the front. Um, Try to get it as straight as I could, and I just top stitch that down before still sewing anything else together or putting the facings in. I'm pretty pr proud of how clean this came out and neat my stitches are. Um, they're very uniform looking to me, which I'm really happy with, so I'm glad how that turned out. So I'm going to tell you a secret. I top stitch all my zippers in. I don't base them. I don't um, do the proper way of doing it. I just pin them in and top stitch them down. So here's my zipper all put in. Um, here is the collar basted to the bodice. This is probably my favorite way of doing collars. You just base the collar on and then do a facing over top. I feel like it's the easiest way to put a collar in with the least amount of fuss and you don't have to fuss around with one of those bias strips which I hate. <laughs> Here I am just clipping my seam allowances and clipping curves. Um, I'm just pinking the edges here along the neckline so that will turn under more neatly and hopefully be a little more washable once it's done. Stitching some under stitching along the facing. 
really helps keep your facings much neater. Definitely something I wouldn't skip. Here I stitched all my panels, have them already all sewn under with the seam allowances and hemmed, stitched to the bodice and pinked. So what I did next was I just took a double fold bias tape and I pinned that along and stitched that to the seam allowance. Then I turned that up and top stitched it down. And I'm really happy with how this came out and how neatly and well proportioned it was. These are just the short pieces. These came together really easily, so I didn't really film a lot of it. Um, yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. Started. Here is the completed look. I am very happy with how this turned out. I love the colors. I love the pattern I used. I'm happy with the buttons down the front, the collar, shape and size, the sash belt, the length of the skirt. I made it so the panels were perfect squares basically, which is kind of what I was hoping they would turn out like. <laughs> um, I feel like it's pretty flattering. It's drop waisted, but there's enough darts in it that it's fitted. I did add some extra darts to the back of it to make it a little more fitted. Cleo approves. The only thing I don't love about this project is the shorts. So this pattern's from 1959 and apparently their version of short shorts is very different from ours now. <laughs> I was hoping I'd be able to wear these without the dress. They're the perfect length with the skirt, but on their own, they're a little unflattering. So we'll see. I might stitch some snaps underneath so they'll be shorter. Can you I make it very difficult to get things done. I love you and you're super cute, but you make it difficult. <laughs> 